Badu, Chiku. Good morning, Poppy. Sorry about that. Battling zombie moles again? Doing my part to keep the city safe, your Poppy Kingship, sir. <laughs> I'm on my way to the throne room. Come down and collect your enemy. Right Come along then, Master Mole. <laughs> <laughs> Here they are, the two brave defenders of Celesteville. Did that pillow surprise you when it fell on you, Pappy? It certainly did. Did you think it was a zombie mole? I didn't know what to think, Chico. But I tried to get the facts first. Bando! <gasps> Felons! What is it, Cornelius? The map with the palace guard houses marked on it. I was reviewing it here on the chart table. And I looked away for just a moment and poof! Purloined! Stolen! <gasps> There's a thief in the palace? Or maybe it's a spy? Ah! Let's not be hasty. There could be a less sinister explanation. Investigate the matter, but do it quietly. Yeah, we'll use this old city map to bait a trap. I'll hide a camera close by. We'll catch the rascal. Unless we catch him first. How could a spy get into the throne room? How could he get the map? How could he get away without Cornelius seeing him unless... <gasps> unless it's an invisible spy! Chiku, there's no such thing as an invisible spy. <gasps> <laughs> I'll find the spy for you, Boo. Just say the word. I was thinking we could stalk the creature and get him with a good old-fashioned panther pelt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that'll work. You don't like my panther pounce? We could try a leopard leap. A tiger tackle? <gasps> Chiku, stop it! <laughs> well, we have to do something to help. I know you, Boo. You have something in mind. Feel silly. Fan out. Look for anything suspicious. <gasps> the ambassador crocodilus. He's suspicious. Wait just a monkey minute. He's carrying a roll of paper. It could be a map. Follow him. Spies! There are spies everywhere. Huh? Why does it smell like onions? That's 
Ambassador's lunch. Wait just a monkey minute. We have another problem. The map of the city that Cornelius put out as bait? It's gone, gone! While we were chasing old mustard and mayo there, the spy got away with something new. Hey, where's the camera? Cornelius was going to set up a hidden camera. Ah! Ow! Monroe! Sorry. There's the sneak. Hey, that is a spy guy. It's I! A mouse? What's wrong with Badoo? Elephants and mice don't get along, Linro. There's a name for fear. None of you has to worry about a mouse running up inside your trunk. Oh. So we're not going to stop the spy? The mouse took a map of the city, right? So he has the layout of the whole town. He took a map of the guardhouses, so he can sneak around without being seen. Uh, don't mice do that already? Aha! One mouse might be able to do it, but what about a hundred? Or a thousand? Boo! You're talking about... A mouse invasion! They're coming to take over Celesteville! What? Really? What other reason could there be? Well... We have to stop this invasion! We have to stop this mouse! Do you have a plan? A tusk-tastic plan! Uh. You villains shan't escape me again. Monroe, guard the door! Right. Zawadi, traps ready? Ready. Chiku, the balloons? I filled them with glow-in-the-dark paint. Splash the mouse and we can track its footprints. Someone's coming. <gasps> Monroe! traps. You think? This is most irregular. The mouse! <gasps> Grab him, Badoo! Use your trunk! Ah! Badoo! Poppy! Well, now, this isn't something you see every day. Get us down, quick! The spy was here! We can get him if we hurry! Damp cellar, just where you'd expect to find a mean old mouse. Hmm. Well, let's not judge the situation before we have all the facts. Good work, everyone. The spy! He's a she! Please, young master, sir, you're scaring them. I'm scaring them? What is your name, madam? Deb Mouse, your kingship, sir. I'm pleased to meet you, Deb Mouse. You are? Grandfather, they're mice. They're planning an invasion to take over the kingdom. What? An invasion? Really, Badu? All five of them? Well, you are a spy, right? You took the maps. I needed paper to make new nests. We were living in the guardhouse, but everything got wet when the roof started to leak during the last monsoon. If these maps were important, why did you keep leaving them out? <laughs> so, Badu, does that explanation change your opinion of 
our spy? Gee, Pappy, she does seem very nice. I guess I didn't get all the facts first. She isn't a spy. I'm sorry I chased you and scared your babies. <laughs> They've never seen a prince close up before. Nats, Pappy. There's nothing to be scared of here. You'll be more comfortable here than in that damp basement. And you can guard the maps to make sure no real spy gets them. Oh, we don't know how to thank you. All of you. Oops. Whoa! I can't see! Ow! Monroe! Sorry. Hey, that gives me an idea. Everybody say... Cheese! Whoa! Ow! Let's oh, go! No. All stuffy trunked. We should go back if you're not feeling well. Explorers don't stop for the sniffles. Still, uh... we have to push on, Zawadi. Who knows what's at the end of this trail? We could find a river that leads to Palamash's island, or the entrance to the haunted gold mine of Gax, or even. <gasps> we'll have to climb over. I think we should jump across, or crawl under. No, definitely climb. Jump. Crawl. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm climbing. Wow, a berry patch. This is tusktastic. Coming through. <gasps> 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 That didn't work out so well. You, you two are orange. Mmm, snack time. Wait, don't eat it. We don't know if those berries are safe. <sighs> sure, Monroe. Everybody knows that. I've never seen berries like this before. Don't explorers get to name the things they discover? Yeah. What do you think about calling them sunny berries? Not stuffy trunked anymore. Achoo! Achoo! Hey, are you okay? I don't feel so good, Boo. <gasps> Stay right there. I'm coming down. Achoo! Do you know what she has, Nana? What do you think it is, Badoo? Polka dots, a sniffly nose, 
Could it be the Sneasels? Achoo! I think you're exactly right. A pretty colorful case, too. She should be in bed. The Sneasels are nothing to sneeze at. You boys were with Zawadi all day yesterday. How are you feeling? Tip-top, Pappy. Needles up. Good. The last thing we want is all of Celesteville coming down with the Sneasels. How are your ma and pa? They woke up all polka dotty. So did my nana. Cornelius, oh. you feeling all right? Uh, yeah, uh, Prince and Padu, I'm fine. I, uh, it's just a tickle in my trunk. I, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius, you have the sneezels. You should be in bed. Come on, we'll help you. Ew, sneezled. You must take action. Impose a ban on this foul and filthy sneezing. Make it a royal decree. Better yet, make it a law. <laughs> ah! Is this a polka dot? Ambassador, that is a pimple. How can you be sure? Trust me. Happy, you should be in bed too. I'm going. Follow the ambassador, boys. Make sure he doesn't run anyone over. Curse you, nephew Kampoop! Sorry, Uncle. I didn't mean to get in the way of your screaming. I wasn't screaming. I was... I was... scheming. These sneezels may work to my advantage. With the king and queen both sick, someone needs to take over the kingdom. Good idea, Uncle. Who would that be? Me! I should be king! We need to get the king and queen back on their thrones. We need to find a cure for these sneezels. Achoo! Achoo! I hear I gave the sneezels to everyone in the palace. Yeah. Uh. But who gave the sneezels to you? You sneezed on it yesterday. You sneezed on both of us. So maybe I had the sneezels first. That means this is all my fault. If that were true, you and Monroe would be sick too. Unless... Hmm. Unless something cured your sneezels. Ah. Achoo! Achoo! Ah. Ah. But we were all together, remember? We went out exploring past the Baobab Grove. And Monroe knocked me off that log. And we got covered in the sunny berries. Monroe and I were smeared with berry juice. But Zawadi, you weren't. So? My Nana told me that some plants can fight diseases. Fight? <laughs> Maybe sunny berries cured my sneezels and didn't even let yours get started. Let's get a basket, Monroe. We're going berry picking. Uh, right after we get some rope to tie down Zawadi's bed. Out past the Baobab Grove. If those berries are a cure, my plan will be ruined. Unless someone else picks them first. <laughs> when we get to the log, no messing around this time. Right, we climb over, under. Neither. Someone's been here before us. They broke off all your climbing branches and filled your crawl space with rocks. Badu, look at this. A crocodile claw. They came for the berries. We'll never get past the log now. Oh, yes, we will. Whoa! 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 Nits and gnats, they 
took them all. Every last berry. No. Look. Berries. The croc probably couldn't reach them. Yeah. But how do we? Whoa! Okay, extend those quills. Cool. <gasps> superb. Sim utterly superb. They're actually quite tasty. Uncle, are you sure you're supposed to eat them? What else would you do with berries? Didn't Prince Badu say he and Monroe were smeared with juice? Badu, if the princeling pest returns, don't let him in here. I'll crown myself king as soon as I finish these delicious berries. I hope these berries work. Take them to my Nana. Tell her I think it's the berry juice rubbed on your skin that makes you better. Meet me in the throne room when you're done. Right. Tersh. Hiya, Prince Badu. Been out looking for those anti-sneasel berries? Sunny berries. Yes. Hmm. I wish they could cure you too. Huh? I don't have the sneasels. No, you have uh, orange porridge. See, orange splotches, dry scaly skin, a green complexion. Ah, orange porridge? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? The only cure is a long, hot bubble bath and a glass of lemonade. Oh, thank you, Prince Badu. Thank you, thank you. By the power vested in me by, well, me, <laughs> I declare myself King of Celesteville! You can't do that! Oh? I have the crown. I have my no sneezing law ready to be signed. I even have my throne! There is nothing to stop me now! <laughs> you did tell me to meet you in the throne room. I'm very proud of both of you. I think our heroes deserve a royal feast in their honor. I'm just glad the berry juice ointment is making everyone better. Not everyone. Oh. We'll get him some ointment to cure his sneezels. But that tummy ache is just going to have to run its course. He shouldn't have eaten all those berries. That's why you never eat something unless you know it's safe. Well, of course. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs>